Let's begin with some simple changes. The default font here is Calibri. Use Ctrl A or Command A if you're using a Mac to highlight everything. And let's pick a different font. And let's highlight some of these headings and change the font color. For these table headings, I'll change the font to white and fill the heading with a color. These brackets show fields, which Xero uses as placeholders to populate the invoice with specific information pulled from Xero. To see the underlying structure of these fields, sometimes called merge fields, use Alt F9 on your keyboard, or if you're using a Mac, use Function Option F9. To return to the previous view, use Alt F9 again. If you don't want a particular field to appear on the invoice, remove it. In this example, I don't want the contact's account number to appear on the invoice branding theme, and I don't use a reference. So let's remove these. Zero Central has a really detailed article on adding and removing fields. So if you do need a bit more help on this, take a look. To check you've deleted the fields, take a look at the field code view. If the field you thought you deleted is still there, delete it here in this view. Be careful not to remove any table start or table end fields. If you do remove these, when you print or email the invoice, the table won't display correctly. You can also add additional fields, for example the contact's email. This Zero Central article details what fields you can add to your DocX templates. Any fields you add to your DocX templates must appear exactly how you see them here, so I recommend copying and pasting the fields you want. In this example, I'd like the contact email address to display. An easy way to add a field is to copy an existing one and then edit. It may be tempting to simply overwrite the text with the field code name. However, what we see here is just a top layer and this won't change the underlying structure. If we toggle to the field code view, we can see that the field hasn't changed. To change the field, change it here in this view. Be careful to use the correct name of the field exactly how it's displayed in Zero Central. Another way to insert a field is to navigate to the Insert menu, select Field, scroll to the Mail Merge category, choose Merge Field, and paste the appropriate field here. Let's look at a table. When working with tables, you may wish to view grid lines, so you have a clearer picture. We'll remove these grid lines later. There are five columns and seven rows. For this invoice template, I don't want to display the quantity and unit price. The text can easily be deleted. And let's delete these two fields. If we leave this as it stands, if you have a long description, the description will be wrapped into the first cell in the table. This invoice shows text which is squashed into one cell. But when we merge the cells, the long text has a lot more space. These three cells can be merged. And the text can be left aligned. And I'll do the same for the heading. Images can be added easily. First, I'll add a logo. Click Insert a Logo and upload a file. The logo can easily be resized. And I'll center align this. For this invoice template, 
I'll remove the payment advice. Let's view the footer and remove the table. And I'll add a QR code. Again, the image can be resized and positioned. I'll center this. If you're still showing any grid lines on your tables, remember to remove these. Watermarks can be added to your docx file to give your invoices a professional touch. Select Insert, Watermark. Watermarks can be pictures or text. Let's upload a picture. Scale the image as required and click OK. If you wish to add any non-Roman characters to this invoice template, you can. For example, you might want to create an invoice template that you can use to send out to your Chinese-speaking customers. Replace any text as appropriate or simply add the Chinese characters. Here's an example of a zero invoice using some Chinese characters. And back to the invoice we've been working on. Once you've made all the changes you want, or you just want to preview what it will look like, save the docx file.